six minutes. Pulse is 45. Respiration 10. Looking good, Cole. Sliding into unconsciousness, I could somehow, I don't know, hear the voices of the dying. Thousands crushed by falling buildings or burned alive in the fires. Trish lost her sister, almost lost me. Zeke was always there, somehow sure that I'd wake up while outside the city fell apart. A plague struck, followed by rioting, theft, rapes, civilization committing suicide. In a bullshit attempt to contain the biological threat, the federal government locked down all access in and out of the city and we were stuck in this cage with the psychos. Cops are all but gone off the streets, either dead or too chicken shit to stand against the gangs that control things now. Outside, things were bad. But inside, inside me, something was beginning. Scary as hell at first. Gotta understand, there was no one to talk to, no experts to consult. But with time, I'm learning to control it, master it. Just hope it's not too late.
I thought you were going to watch TV. Ah, batteries are dead again. Uh, you mind putting on a freak show? Sure. I'm glad it's good for something. Probably need to charge them all. TV's a hog. Talking about? <laughs> nice job, man. Boob tubes are working. Weird. It feels like I got more power. Uh, yeah? We try frying those dummies over there. With all the nutballs running around, it'd be nice to see how much juice you're packing. <laughs> yeah! Lay into it, man. Fry those suckers. so low, thought it was going to crash into us. Hey, it's a TV jacker. I love this guy. Just got word that the feds dropped some relief packages into Archer Square. The liars wrote in the corporate media tell us that we're going to get our fair share, that more is coming. Yeah, that's easy for them to say. They're not the ones living in this hellhole. And the truth is that we've been abandoned. And no one's coming to save us. So head over to Archer Square and get that food before the Reapers show up. Voice of Survival, out. Told you they dropped food. Man, you must be out of your mind. You think any of those pencil necks gives a crap about us? This is a PR stunt. That isn't gonna stop you from digging out, though, is it? <laughs> Hell no, it ain't. Zeke's gotta eat. You take the stairs. I'm using the express elevator. Ah, oh, man. Get to have all the fun. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Whew. Oh, that was one hell of a jump, man. Wish I could do something like that. Running down all those stairs. Ah, that sucks donkey balls. Hey, Cole. Before we head over to Archer, I need to go pick up a new six-shooter. Oh, here we go. Ah, that was badass. The second you touch it, the electricity in your hands cooks off the gunpowder, and the whole thing goes kabam! <laughs> the look on your face was priceless. Damn near blew my hand off. Which is why you won't be touching the new one. <laughs> Traded this guy one of my homemade batteries for it. The ones that explode when you use them? Hell, he doesn't know that. Told me he was gonna leave the gun in the parking lot a few blocks from here. You know what I miss? Pizza. Big sloppy slice, dripping with grease, pepperoni, and payday. Having a big fat wad, bills in your pocket. Yeah, I'd settle for some hot water. Hey, remember that time we were coming home from Duffy's and I had to take a leak? And that bike cop was yelling at me to put up my hands? <laughs> You pissed all over him. Hey, he told me to put up my hands. While he's fumbling around, I jump back in and we take off. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, awesome. Until we run into a wall of cops. Like I said, awesome. <laughs> ah, bummer we won't be able to do anything like that again. Yeah, not unless some genius invents a car that doesn't explode when I sit in it. Ah, come on. He told me he was going to leave it under a car. I figured there'd be only one. We'll never find it. Stand back. I got an idea. Woohoo! Hellacious! Hell, I didn't know you could do something like that. Yeah, me neither. There was this surge. Hey, man, you don't look so hot. Trained all of a sudden. Hang on a sec. You're a walking battery. You must have to recharge whenever you fire off a bunch of juice. I can feel the electricity surging through me. Almost like I'm being healed by it. 
Oh, this rock's so hard. Come on, let's haul tail over to Archer Square before someone takes all the brewskis. Cole, you there? Hey, babe. You hear they dropped some food? Yeah, Zeke and me are heading over there. How are you feeling? All right, I guess. Powers are all over the place. It used to be I could barely power a light bulb. Now I'm jumping off of buildings, frying the junk on Zeke's roof. You jumped off a building. What were you thinking? Relax. I'm fine. Just take it easy. After what happened to Amy, I, I couldn't... Yeah. See you guys at Archer Square. I love you. You too. stuck up there. I hate to say it, pal, but, uh, hey, you're the only guy here who'd live from a fall like that. You gotta climb up there and knock that stuff free. They were just a bunch of junkies dealing drugs. Now, they own the Neon District. Taking whatever they want. That changes today. Open. Let's eat. Hey, Trish. Oh, I'm so glad you got the food down. These poor people are starving. Just doing what I can. Someone had to help them. Those idiots dropped us canned prunes. Now who the hell want to eat this crap? Take a look at this, Sapphire City. The plot of your scene was taken by a security camera near Hey, Cole! Cool. You're up on the big screen! Our city, our lives. Someone from your family died? Well, now you know who to blame. If you know anything about this guy, let me know. Because we're going to get the word out on this terrorist. Whoever he is... Ever been called a terrorist? All 
I remember from that day is going to work and then running for my life. That video, though. How'd I get that package? Why would I deliver a bomb? For who? Regardless, the consequences are everywhere. Whatever there'd been between Trish and me was gone. She didn't say a word. No emotion, nothing, just walked away. By then, people nearby were starting to recognize me. It was gonna get ugly. Even Zeke was giving me weird looks. He and I made quick plans to meet up at Stampton Bridge. Try to get out of town. Just hope he shows. It's right now. I'm a little short on friends. Town. That is, if you can get us past those baton wielding goons. We're getting out of here one way or another. Follow my lead. You have entered a restricted area. Lethal force may be used at any time. Please return to your homes. You will be notified when the quarantine has been lifted. Gonna have to get past those riot cops if we want out of here. If I fry a couple of the guards from inside the crowd, inside the crowd, but I can trigger a riot. Help keep the, help keep the. Of course, that means a lot of innocent people and people will get the hell kicked out of them.
It'll make you a harder target. This area is under strict quarantine. Indiscriminate lethal force will be used against all unauthorized personnel. This is your final warning. open to a wall of razor wire machine guns. Zeke made a break for it, smashed in the gate to the decontamination unit, and fell headlong to the harbor. And I moved, faster than I knew I could. I was greeted by name. This FBI agent, Moya, had seen the footage of me at Ground Zero and came here to wait, figuring I'd try to escape, knowing I'd have powers. She explained that before the blast, her husband John had been assigned to infiltrate the First Sons, a shadowy group working on a project they called the Ray Sphere, a device designed to drain the neuroelectric energy from a group of people and concentrate it into an individual. She'd lost contact with John the night of the blast. Despite all her connections, Moya was losing hope. Yet she'd found me, somehow believing I could be trusted ready to make me an offer. I go back to the city, find John in the Ray Sphere, and she'll get me out of the quarantine and clear my name. This whole Ray Sphere thing sounds crazy to me. Suddenly I'm a human white socket, so maybe I should cut her some slack. Because of the riot topside, this is the only way back into the city. Given the state of our new partnership, I've taken the liberty of cloning your phone's frequency. I've got a lock on your GPS locator, and I can hear every word you say. That's super. pressure has dropped in the main running under the bridge. What's going on down there? Reapers were busting up some pipes. Interesting. I'll see what I can find out. You worry about getting back into the city.
forget who's holding your leash, Cole. You find John and the race sphere, and I get you out of there. No questions asked. But you double-cross me or do something stupid, and I will throw you into a hole so deep that you won't even know which way is up. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Cole? Oh, man, it's good to see you. Yeah, nice work on that gate, Wrecking Ball. Yeah, I'll live through the fall, no problem. But, uh, getting back to shore? Well, let's just say I'm no Michael Phelps. Yeah, that's an understatement. Hey, take it easy, Lightning Rod. So, uh, how the hell'd you live through that, man? Bullets flying everywhere, all over the place. Figured you were a goner. Let's head home. I'll fill you in on the way. And it drains neuroelectric energy. Oh, I knew it! All the stuff I've been saying, every word is true. Government's in cahoots with a secret organization, the race fear. Damn, it all makes sense now. Calm down, you're gonna hurt yourself. That race fear must dish out powers to anyone controlling it. You gotta bring it back here. Sure, I could use a sidekick. Ah, hell with that. Zeke Jedediah Dunbar is his own man. Your middle name is Jedediah? Yes, it is. After my grandfather. Strong man for a man his size. Uh, I don't know where Zeke comes from, but uh, I'm certain... You need to take a nap and a bath. I got things to do. I've already got a couple of leads for you. The coordinates have been uploaded into your phone. Give me a call when you're in position. Looks like a portable audio drive is attached to this satellite dish. See if you can listen to it with your phone. Sounds like a bunch of garbage. It's an encrypted message, but I can't break it. Look around and see if you can find another one.
me a second. All right. That should do it. I'm uploading a decrypting algorithm into your phone. It should let you listen to the messages. I couldn't stop Kessler from detonating the ray sphere. Damn thing took out five or six square blocks, killed God knows how many. Found the ray sphere in the blast crater next to some kid. Don't know if he was dead or not. Didn't have time to check. I'm gonna try and hole up somewhere. If anyone is even listening to these things, I need immediate extraction. Please, you've got to get me out of here before Kessler finds me. Do you understand any of that? I don't believe it. That's John. He must have used dead drops to communicate with his handlers. Um, English? It means there are probably more of those scattered around the city. You should try and find as many as you can. They might tell us where he took the ray sphere. Find John in the ray sphere, and I'm out, right? I know the deal, Cole. Just making sure. Keep attacking the clinic I have down the street. Take care of them for me, would you? the street from your location. Your boy isn't here, Moya. Just a dead woman. A woman? Well, that doesn't make any sense. Hang on a second. Kidnap Brandon. This is his wife, Lene. I can see the echo of someone running away. Follow it. We need to find out what happened.
what's up. Feds, man, that's what's up. Watching our every move. Even caught one scoping out the roof. He's leaning against the wall down there, eating a fresh apple. Now you tell me, where the hell did he get that? I don't know, Zeke. But if we want to be out of here, this is the way it's got to be. Come on, man, don't be stupid. They'll ride you as long as they can. But the second you're no longer useful, bam! You vanish. Permanently. I think all that conspiracy stuff has rotted your brain. Hey, hey, don't kill the messenger, brother. I'm just telling him like it is. You watch your back. the echo to the sewers. Reapers must have needed Carrie's help in shutting down the underground linear transformer. Find the transformer and figure out a way to get it back online. If they killed the circuit, you'll have to re-establish it. Got it. This must be what I'm looking for. This guy's okay. You've got to stop the Reapers. They're running around with some electrician, killing anyone they find down here. The Transformer's back on. Now what? Restart the distribution substation by charging up the voltage regulator mounted to its front. That should be enough to get the power back on. Thank you, Agent 5. Damn it all the hell!
it's hard to get way around down there. Nah, I got into urban exploration about four years ago. Crawled all over this city. So I know these sewers like the back of my hand. damn mind? The Reapers will kill my wife. No one is getting in here. Open the door. Screw you! I've jammed this thing up tight. No one is getting in or out until she's safe. Poor guy. Still thinks he's protecting Lene. Doesn't change the fact that I need to get in there. I can either fry him and open the door that way, or tell him that his wife is dead. See if that gets him to back off. Lene is dead. They shot her. How do you know her name? I know this is hard. I saw her body. There was nothing anyone could do. But I knew I shouldn't have trusted her. Dude, I'm so sorry, Lene. Listen to me. I've seen what you can do. You have to kill them. All of them. Promise me. I'll do what I can. is fully restored to North Beach. There are three more substations that are still offline, though. I'll mark them on your GPS as I find them. Hey, Moya, I'm in position. There should be a cell tower fairly close to you. Find it and recharge it. Afraid I'm gonna bail on you? Without that tower, you'll fall off the grid. I can't allow that. Oh, hell. Vision is blurring. Good. Now you need to restore the electricity to this section of the neon. Your GPS will show you where to go, but be careful. There are a lot of Reapers operating in the area. Uh, those guys will slaughter me. I can barely see, and charging up that tower drain me dry. Stick to the high ground and avoid them. If you have to fight, look around for emergency generators. There are probably some scattered across the rooftops. You're gonna get me killed. Call me when you're in the sewer.
desk and that I needed to beeline it. So I pick it up and take off. <laughs> well, he claims that no one else can deliver it. That it had to be you. It was a terrible job in the first place. Pay sucked. And when I get there, someone calls and tells me to open the package. Next thing I know, I'm waking up in a crater. Well, at least you got superpowers out of it. And don't worry about George and those other idiots. I'm coming for you, man. That freaking gossip queens anyway. Nice work, Cole. So, I figured out why the Reapers were destroying the water pipes under the bridge. By isolating the city's water system, they can pump their plague into every home in the city. Anyone drinking that sludge will get sick, or worse. Great. Yeah, and it gets better. I'm getting reports that Smith Fountain is already polluted, and there are a lot of casualties. Head over there and confirm my intel. Then we'll figure out what we're going to do. Hey man, you ain't gonna believe this one. You know those areas of the city clearing out? They're crime free now. People are hanging up posters with your face on them. I'm doing what I can, Zeke. No one needs to throw me a parade. I know, man, I know. Still, that's pretty damn cool.
Not looking good, Moya. Sick people all over the place. And the water in the fountain is black. All right. Get over there. We need to find a way to stop this. Breathe. Breathe. What are you doing here? Moya wanted me to see what's going on with the fountain. Who's Moya? Doesn't matter. Look, Trish, I know what that guy said about me. My sister is dead because of you. I swear I didn't know what was in that package. I don't want to hear it. You want to help? Fine. You can start by closing that valve over there. It's jammed, and I can't turn it. That's how the black tar is getting into the fountain. I need to get a solvent out of my car. Follow me. I've been watching you. Only time I'm helping you, Cole. If you get that stuff on you again, you're just gonna have to wait for it to wear off. I took care of the fountain, Moya. I had to shut off the feeder pipe that led into it. There are two more water mains in the area. Gotcha. I'll turn those off and see what happens. Larger, 
and then the wall comes down. It's only a matter of time. Now that the valves are off, you need to figure out how those maniacs are getting that tar into the system. The only primary water line around there runs under Memorial Park. Head into the tunnel and look for it. You don't love, no true love, but I will teach you. <laughs> the bastard will see what he's lost. race fear over to the feds, man. Do I have a choice? Man alive! Do you know what they'll do with something like that? Especially if the Pentagon is wrapped up in all this. It's an ultimate weapon. And what's your suggestion, Jedediah? We hide it under your couch? Only my mama calls me Jedediah. That's not important right now. Listen, I say we crack that baby open and give everyone powers. It's the only way to make sure we don't get screwed. Yeah, I think we're already screwed.
I flagged the position of the next substation in your GPS goal. Uh, shouldn't I be hunting for John in the race sphere? You need to look at the big picture. Every time you restore electricity to a section of the city, your powers escalate. I'd say that's a valuable use of your time. I'll be in touch once you get the substation back online. I'm like, hey, what's up? I'm like, hey, what's up?